Okay, so um, hi everyone. I am up here again to review, um, <laughs> to rebuttal what Kira was talking about. So um, one of the things that I was hearing her talk about is she criticized JT's point of, um, uh, she said that uh, with him criticizing the driving age and not being mature enough and responsible enough that we should in fact raise the, um, raise the driving age so you have to be older to get your license. However, she is also preaching from a place of lowering the drinking age, which um, doesn't quite make sense to me if you're going to be able to drive a car after you can consume alcohol, which is clearly more dangerous on your health than um, getting behind the wheel, uh, I think that that doesn't make a sound argument. She also was saying that freshmen in college are more prone to accidents. Um, so freshmen in college who are more prone to accidents, freshmen in college are typically 18 year olds, in fact. And so if you are lowering the drinking age to that age of 18, then um, that in turn would um, prove her point, exactly. Um, I also want to say is that um, uh, she talks about, she talked about earlier how health, or uh, how um, the economy could be um, more boosted up by lowering this drinking age, but it is in fact fact that healthcare costs and social costs as a result of a greater population who can drink would result in economic detriment. Um, there are external costs to society, costs of healthcare, costs of treating accidents, days lost from work, and therefore the social cost of alcohol is greater than the private cost. And um, that was done uh, uh, in a uh, economics article by Peter Trayvon. Um, also, in 1984, in New York State alone, the State Division of Alcoholism and Alcohol Abuse projected that 21-year-old minimum drinking age would save, on an annual basis of 60 to 70 lives, 1,200 serious injuries, and $75 million in societal costs. The organization Mothers Against Drunk Drivers um, reported that 25 cents of every auto insurance premium dollar goes by to pay for that damage done by drunk drivers. So um, I think that uh, it's sound that an economic benefit wouldn't really be reached from this in higher costs of insurance. Um, for health costs among the young. Um, in general, um, I think that lowering the age to 18 is just really going to cause more crime. Um, you could see that lowering the drinking age will invite more use of illicit drugs among 18 to 21 year olds. Um, and uh, you could see that in a peer reviewed study from the Journal of Studies of Alcohol and Drugs found that um, that uh, the younger person begins to drink alcohol, more likely it is that they will use other illicit drugs, um, lowering the uh, drink lowering MLDA twenty one would increase the number of teens who would drink and therefore the number of teens who use other drugs. Um, that is all I'm going to say to Christ today. Thank <laughs> you.